When I woke up this morning, my screen pad had stopped working. You can still see the icons and everything on the screen pad display, but when you try to click something, it's acting as if it's in kind of in trackpad mode. A trackpad that's kind of confused. You can see the blue items that's appearing on the main display. Now, I can't use this icon to change it to trackpad. I can go up here to F6 and uh, change it to traditional trackpad mode. And it blanks out, comes back on. Then I can use it as a traditional trackpad without a problem. But for some reason, the screen pad portion is not working this morning. Um, I'll wait till noon Eastern time so I can get hold of someone, ASUS uh, customer service to see what's going on. I suspect it might have something to do with a Windows update. Um, I'll check on that, find out what's going on, and uh, I'll get back and uh, let you all know what happened to it. So I was able to get the screen pad fixed. I did notice yesterday morning while it was still off, if I hooked up an external mouse, you may be able to see the, the cursor here. I could move the mouse down into the screen pad area and I could control things on the screen pad and I could click the various items, but the tactile portion, the, the touch portion was what was messed up. So that's what we needed to fix. All right, so while we're here, let's talk briefly about the MyASUS app that comes preloaded onto uh, your machine. Scroll over on uh, your screen pad till you find your MyASUS app and you can tap it in the app will load on your main display. So after the app loads, you can go to customer support and uh, click on uh, contact ASUS, choose laptops. And it will give you a series of uh, topics that you can discuss with ASUS. Scroll down to screen pad. And your question is how to fix screen pad 2.0 problems when it is not working correctly. Click on that. Now you have two options here. First, you can click the link and it will open up ASUS uh, support. And you can scroll down and it gives steps that to suggest that you look through and to complete to fix your screen pad 2.0. It, uh, <laughs> there's a part where it says, please do this in this order, or you might mess up your computer. It's a little intimidating, but it's really not as bad as it looks. Okay. So that's one way. The second thing you can do, which is what I did yesterday. I waited till 12 noon Eastern time for uh, them to open, click transfer to agent. And then you get an opportunity to request a chat with uh, a customer service representative from ASUS. So that's how you can go there and get some information um, through your My ASUS app. It's what I did yesterday. I was on with them for a little over two hours, but we finally did get it fixed. All right, now let's go through briefly all the steps that you're going to need to do to repair your ScreenPad 2.0 if it stops working. And I guess I ought to put a caveat in here that I don't guarantee this. Um, you take responsibility working with your own computer. But here are the steps that you need to go through. Now these are the steps you're going to need to follow to repair your ScreenPad 2.0. The first is to uninstall the MyASUS and ScreenExpert apps from your computer. You can go to your ScreenPad and click on Quick Keys and then Windows Settings and that will bring up the Windows settings. And from there, you go to Apps, scroll down to My Asus, click it, click on Install and follow the instructions. After you do that, you'll scroll all the way down to Screen Expert, click it, click on Install and follow the instructions. And that will remove the two apps from your computer. Now that you've uninstalled the MyASUS app and the ScreenExpert app, 
You need to go through each of the following links, paste them into your browser, and uh, save them for download. So we'll go here to the first one. Copy. Paste. Hit Enter. And save. The next one will take you to the Microsoft App Store. Where you can get again your Screen Expert app. It will automatically install it. That's okay, it's a little out of order, but it didn't cause any problems when I did it yesterday. So you grab your Screen Expert app. The next thing you want to do is grab the ASUS Screen Expert interface. Copy, paste, and hit enter, and save. Next is to go to the My App Store and get a new version of the My ASUS app. Get it, and again, it will install. Next, the ASUS system control interface. And save it. And then last, there is a zip file for the ScreenPad Plus optimizer. Copy, paste, enter, and save it. Now, if you go to your downloads, you'll see the items that you've just uh, installed or downloaded to your computer. Now that we've downloaded the required applications, we're going to organize them so that we can run them and uh, repair our ScreenPad 2.0. I have created an application group to run two instances of Firefox side by side on the main display. I'm going to click that and get those running. Now we'll go up to downloads and we'll see the four items that uh, we have just downloaded. And we're going to go over here and I've created a folder called Asus ScreenPad Restore. We're going to grab all four of these items, drag them over to the folder, and now we'll bring split up that window. You'll see one of them is a zip file. You're going to click on it and then right click and extract all to the folder. And you're going to go to that folder and copy the application and paste it here. So now you should have four applications and these are the ones that you're going to execute to uh, restore the function of your ScreenPad 2.0. You're going to do them in this order. You're going to do I2C Intel, Screen Expert Driver, ASUS controller interface, and then the ASUS ScreenPad 2.0 optimizer. Each one of those is going to ask you to restart the computer. Say not at this time for all of them until you finish up with the optimizer. After you've done the optimizer, restart the computer, and your ScreenPad 2.0 should be acting like it's supposed to. And so those are the steps you need to run through to uh, restore the function of your ScreenPad 2.0. I hope it works. and. Uh, Hope you have a good day. Thank you. I noticed when editing the video, I didn't mention that I've included links for all the required files down in the description um, for the video. So the links should be there. You can go through the description and uh, click on them and that will take you where you need to go. You may get a message saying that uh, it's an untrusted site. The site's fine. You can go ahead and click through and, and download them and everything should be fine. I've also placed a list of the required files at the end of the video, so you can pause that and see what the files are. And after that, there's also a screenshot showing which files need to be uh, installed in which order.
Thank you for watching tonight. If you have any comments or any questions, please leave them down in the comments section. Over on this side is a link to my original video for the unboxing and the first look at the 532EQ. And on this side is a subscription link to the channel. Thank you again for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time.